I'm finally doing my hauls on time. Let's do April. Hi guys, I'm Libby and welcome to Punzi's Palace where I do all things Disney, hence the Punzi, and all things regarding my life and home, hence my palace. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe down below for more Disney and lifestyle content. Got some things for the month of April, but side note before I get started on these things that I got in the month of April, I am not including the things that I got on my Disney World trip in this haul because we got quite a few things and that's just, that's a whole separate thing. Be on the lookout for that video. It's going to be me and Michael showing off the things that we got at Disney because he actually got quite a few really cool things that I wanted him to be a part of and showing it off and everything. But these are just the things that I got in the month of April besides that one little week. Let's get into it. So as always, we're going to start with with the pins and I actually only got two pins in the whole month besides the Disney trip. I think that's why I only got two pins because I got a lot more pins on the Disney trip. They were both purchases so this one is from Ashley on Macari so thank you so much Ashley. She just has like a little note saying thank you so much for your purchase. Hope this pin brings you joy to your collection and it is a pin that I have been looking for for quite some time and there's one other pin in this series that I was kind of like also on the lookout for but now that I have this one which is the one that I really wanted out of the two that I was still looking for. I'm good. I have this one. I'm good. So it was this little Stitch Summer Collection. I think this was the first year that I started really collecting pins. That's when it came out. So like in 2020. So it's been a minute. But they are just so super cute. When I first opened the box, I got Stitch with the ukulele and I love that. And that's one of the ones that I wanted. So I kept him and I only bought one box at the time and I was really happy with the one that I got. So I was like, okay, it's fine. And I thought I would find the other one that I wanted later and I didn't. So the other one that I wanted, other two that I wanted, but now I'm good, was the one with him with the lay and then the one with him with the sandcastle. I have him with the little sandcastle. I just love this pin because I love that moment in the movie because he just is so cute with his little pile of sand on his lap. And just look how happy and cute he is. It's adorable. And I love these pins because they're really, really nice for like lounge fly box lunch just pins and I love that he's like a little pastel-y. That's really cute to me. Sorry, I'm also still getting over being sick so if I sound a little funky, that's why. Love that pin and then I also bought this pin from Pamela. So thank you Pamela and look at how cute the package is. It has elephants on it and did you know that elephants actually have the best memory of any animal in the entire jungle? Sure wish I had a memory like that. Help me with my job. I had another castle pin trying to complete this series. So here it is all the little different castle pins. We have three left to get. It's Ariel, Cinderella, and the Frozen Castle. Those are the last three. And I bought this from her because I kept seeing a bunch of people putting them out and everybody was selling them for like 20 bucks. And I'm like, these are like, like $9 pin boxes, guys. I'm not gonna pay 20 bucks for a $9 pin box. Found this one for about $10, which is about what I'll pay for something that's in like a nine or something pin box. And then I'm paying a little bit extra because I know which one I'm getting. I got Ariel's. So I got Ariel's castle here so atlantica it's super duper pretty i absolutely love it i used to have an older atlantica pin and i traded that away because i like just the look of this one so much more yay now we only have two left it's frozen and cinderella so we are so close we are so close to getting these done those are all the pins i got for the month now let's get into the things i did get quite a few more funkos not as many funkos as i got in march a lot of these weren't like purchases that i made in april they were pre-ordered that I had made a little while ago and they were finally coming in. One of them being the Gaston Funko. So he was on pre-order. I think I bought him in like February or maybe even March, but he didn't come until April and that was totally fine with me. The 30 year anniversary of Beauty and the Beast. I love it because I have wanted a Gaston Funko Pop forever and then they came out with this line and it has Gaston in it and I, I kind of like it better. It has him in more of like a debonair pose instead of just like a strong man pose. So I kind of like that more because it shows he's more suave than just like a strong man. But here are the other ones that you can get from the series. I will say that I got one more of these in this month. I will not be getting any more. I think Cogsworth and Lumiere are really cute, but I just, I'm not a huge, huge Beauty and the Beast fan, so I'm not gonna get them. I like that they have this because it's kind of funny. I love Beast, and so I like him more in his like bird form because I think it's really cute. You always gotta check for his stand. Look at him. Look at his hair. The little, the little poof here. His little eyebrows. That's amazing. And I just, oh, his little tie at the back. Love it. He's gonna go probably with the other Beauty and the Beast stuff up there. He'll probably 
join the fray. And now I actually do have like quite a few different villain Funkos, so I might like make a little villain section eventually. That'll be cool. Another pre-order Funko Pop that I got. This one I pre-ordered like maybe even in December. Oh, I'm already just taking it out of the box. It's an Amazon exclusive and I think it's just so funny. It's Olaf as Rapunzel from the Olaf Presents series. And they came out with a bunch of different ones of him in Funko Pop form, his little dress, and you can see little Bruni here being Pascal, and then him with the frying pan, and the hair is just, it's so funny. So yes, this is an Olaf Pop, but he's gonna go in my Rapunzel section because I just think it is just too funny. And of course I bought the Rapunzel one because it's just, it's too cute. I'll show you the back so you can see the other ones. Olaf is Ariel, is the genie, I think it's Simba, and then we also have have Moana so I didn't really need any of these other ones I think it's cute that they have those but as a huge Rapunzel collector and I loved that short I thought it was so funny and then I went to the mall for the first time in like so long and had like a little shopping excursion mostly because I was looking for some birthday presents for some people coming up but then I also just bought some things because I saw things and I was like might as well. So one of the things is something I found at GameStop. I always just check out GameStop for the Funkos, but I also was interested in seeing like what new games were out that I could possibly buy for my Switch. And instead I saw this Funko Pop. I haven't seen this Funko Pop like out in stores anywhere. Kept going back and forth on buying her online because I did see her pop up a few times online, but I'm so glad that I waited. It's Wanda from WandaVision, oh my gosh. It is the beautiful Scarlet Witch. If you don't know, I absolutely love Wanda. Absolutely love her. So I love Spider-Man too. Spider-Man's my number one. He's always been my number one. As soon as she was introduced, as soon as she was introduced, I was like, I like her because she has the powers that I always said that if I had superpowers, those are the superpowers I would want. And then she appeared and she was awesome. She's, she's amazing. I've always loved her. So let's get her out of here. I've been very picky about what WandaVision pops I've wanted. I kind of want the one of her in the 50s just because I like the 50s. I think it's cute. I didn't even know she had like a cape thing on. That's really cool. Look how cool she is. Oh my gosh. So she's like floating and I love that. I love this thing. I didn't know if I would like it because I'm like, but you can obviously see she's not floating. But like from far away, it really does look like she's just floating, which is really, really cool. So she's just, you know, doing her little meditation and she might even be on my library shelves eventually because she is reading a book anything with a book is gonna go on those shelves so she may even make an appearance there she just looks awesome i i love her so much here's the other ones from this like little series so there's vision there's monica and then there's agatha i want agatha Catherine han man what a woman. I also went to box lunch and I was actually very good in box lunch. I was very surprised. I bought one thing. I was in there for a very long time, but I bought one thing and it was something that I have been looking for, which is coasters. And I found this set of coasters and I absolutely love it. So it's Winnie the Pooh, little ceramic, nice coasters. We have Tigger here looking super duper cute. That's the one that goes on Michael's nightstand. Piglet, so cute. That's the one that goes by the TV. Pooh Bear, of course. It's the one that goes on my desk. We have Eeyore. He's so cute and he even has a little thistle there. And this is the one that goes on my nightstand. I love the like simplicity of it so it's not like in your face. It, it, it matches well. I went to Barnes & Noble as well. They have all of these beautiful illustrated covers of all these different stories like Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland, Little Women, all of those kinds of things. And so I have one kind of like that for the Grimm's Fairy Tales that Michael got me last year and it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. I also wanted one that was Hans Christian Andersen so that way I have like all the fairy tales covered. And they had this book there and I know it says Little Mermaid. That is Hans Christian Andersen though. But then it does say and other fairy tales. So I got them all, at least most of them. I haven't read it yet but I'm pretty sure I got all of them but look at how beautiful that cover work is and just how shiny it is look at that spine absolutely beautiful and then that's a quote from little mermaid there on the back it's just absolutely beautiful and the silver and you have seashells inside you can also see that there's pictures and stuff in it beautiful there's a ribbon I love it. Then I was also looking for a journal. Barnes & Noble has really, really good journals. And I was looking for one to write like letters and stuff to my dad because I do, I miss just talking to him a lot. And there's so many things that I wanna say to him or just tell him. I want some way to get all of that out as a way to like just cope and 
grieve. So I was looking for a journal to do that in and I found this one. It's absolutely perfect. It is this absolutely beautiful flowery journal and I just love the flowers on it because we went to like Louis Ginter a lot and flowers and I love the like bluish green color of it. And then the butterfly here, it was his mom as well as my grandmother, she loved butterflies. And then we also went to Louis Ginter all the time, which has butterflies. It's just, it's so pretty with the little clasp that opens up. We have the beautiful journal there. So I also went to Bath and Body Works because I was looking for a new fragrance mist because the one that I had used, I used it all up and then I was using like a pumpkin scented one and I didn't really want to use that for April. I was looking to find a new one and I went a little crazy. I did get a fragrance mist and it is Butterfly, which is like my new favorite scent. It's their very, very new scent. It smells so good. Fragrance notes are raspberry, nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla. And I love these fragrance bottles because I use it at least once every day and I've had it for well over a month now and we're here and we have all of this to go so I love it and then I also got butterfly bubble bath because I have been taking bubble baths uh every once in a while after work because it just soothes me down just getting out of the bathtub just kind of relaxing and getting away from the world for like 20 to 30 minutes it's absolutely great and I've used up most of the bubble bath that we have already I wanted another one and it just it smells so good also looking for some candles and I love their three wick candles but they um they expensive so I got these I think they're seven ounce candles I bought two because they had a sale so I got this aromatherapy one it's eucalyptus and tea so it's stress relief as you can see I've gone through quite a little bit of it already because I just loved lighting this when I was in the shower or taking my baths but I also was sick this past week with a really bad stuffy nose and eucalyptus is actually what you're supposed to like smell and breathe in to help relieve that stuffy nose so I was burning this quite a lot this one it is sunshine and daffodil and it smells so good so summery and light and airy and I absolutely love daffodils so I love this one it's like a little sunshine in a can so then I also got some hand sanitizers because we need some still keep your hands clean but they also had a sale going on and we were about to go to Disney World and I was like well it'd be nice for all of us to have like our own little hand sanitizer just so we have it I did buy five of them but I gave two of them away to members of the family to use and so now I just have three butterfly scent of course because it was so good and then I also bought this little case that I could like carry it around at the parks there or anywhere else because it was like a dollar and then I also got iced dragon fruit tea and beautiful day I use this one at work actually right now and it smells so light and like fresh laundry I love it Bath and Body Works always gets me when they have a bunch of sales on everything so I'm like well why would I just get one when it's a better deal to get more than one so then we have another Funko Pop and this was another pre-order and it is another one from the 30th anniversary of Beauty and the Beast it's Belle I was telling you I got another one that was on the back here it's Belle with the bird because they did have an older one of her with the bird that's to go with the beast with the birds and I just couldn't really find it or whatever and so this is like a bit of a different style one but I was gonna buy it so it can go with beast let's get her out of here I love Belle's winter dress her little like pinky red winter dress I absolutely love it I love that and the green dress they're beautiful and just look at her little hood I love her hood so she has her little bird here but then she also is like holding up her skirt of her dress with bird seed in it for the little birdie and I love that just a little detail it's so so cute so she's gonna go right up next to the beast with the birds then I also did buy some little Funko Minis. They are ones that I've been looking for for a while and I actually have a whole like ISO Funko Minis like list and everything and I'm slowly but surely getting through them because some of these Funko Minis are like super expensive. So I only buy them when they're like really, really cheap. For me to buy them, they have to be cheaper than a normal standard Funko. I wanted this one as soon as I saw somebody open it. I was like, that's a thing that exists. I need it and it's Moana in her little shell costume because look at how grumpy her little face is first of all then also just I love the detail on the little shell she's wearing the little drum that she's playing with and her little shell outfit it is so cute so adorable so I only have that Moana as well as like a little Disney princess comics so now I have a little Funko mini of Moana and she's just so cute and then I also got these two little mini Funkos and back of one of them it's a little bit used but with the price that I got these and you're not really gonna look at her, the back of her very much. I don't really care because I got both of these for like, I think under $10. Ariel and Eric in their wedding attire. It is so cute. So I'm getting married in less than a year now. Oh my goodness. But I love little Eric's 
little wedding attire. It's so, so stinking cute. And I love Little Mermaid anyway. And just Ariel's little very 80s looking <laughs> wedding dress. So you can see there's a little bit on her veil in the back here, but like, it's not bad, not bad at all. And I love the veil, it just looks so cute. I also got some stickers. I got stickers from Baikai Studios. I love their shop. They do stickers, they do t-shirts, they do tumblers and pillowcases, the journals, they have all kinds of stuff there. And it's such a good, such a cute shop. And I've gotten their t-shirts before and they're really, really nice. So Baikai Studios, there's her logo and I'll link her down below and everything. But I got some stickers cause she was doing a huge sale because Etsy is being terrible and is upping the fees for all the Etsy sellers, which is making it really difficult because people who sell on Etsy, it's a great way for somebody who's making handmade, homemade stuff, or they're just starting out a small business. It's a great way for them to have a platform that's used by a lot of people to be able to sell that stuff. But when Etsy is taking such giant fees out, it's going to make it harder for those small businesses to keep their prices like reasonable so more people will buy it. When you're making something that's homemade, you're going to price it pretty high because it's using your time and your money and everything to make it. So you want to make at least a little bit of a profit off of it. But then when the place you're selling it on, that platform, if it's taking a huge chunk out of your profits, then you're like, well, I spent eight hours making all of these things and I'm getting barely anything back. So I guess I have to hike up the price, but then not as many people are going to buy it. And then it's just, it's a waste. So she was doing a sale on her external website, not on Etsy. And a lot of small shops took a strike on Etsy for a while. And as much as possible, now I am trying to just buy from the sellers if they have their own website so that I'm not giving Etsy that money because it's a little messed up that they're doing that. But anyway, I bought these stickers that I've been looking at buying stickers from her for a while. And then I finally was like, you know what? I'm going to do it for this cause. So she knows like, hey, I support you girl. And they are actually all not Disney stickers. So you're seeing a little bit of the other things that I really enjoy and love. We have this sticker of To the Stars Who Listen and this is from A Court of Thorns and Roses. I love that series. It's so good. A little spicy so you have to be of age to read it or at least be okay with that but it is such a pretty little sticker and I love ugh, the mountains of it. So good. So it's showing that she does do a lot of like Disney stickers and Disney shirts and stuff like that but then she also does like TV shows that people really enjoy like popular TV shows as well as other fandoms like this one as well as she does have some Harry Potter stuff. So I got this Slytherin sticker here. It says cunning and ambitious. I just love the design of this. We have like a little potion at the bottom. Yeah, a little potion. I love potions and I just think it looks really pretty and I love green. Green's one of my favorite colors. And also with everything with Harry Potter, I try as much as possible if I'm gonna buy something Harry Potter that it's from a small shop to support them instead. This is the last sticker I got from them. So it says a million dreams are keeping me awake from the greatest showman. I absolutely love this. I love the duality of this. I think that was from the poster as well, but I just, I love it. It's so, so pretty. And Michael and I absolutely love this movie together. So go and check out Baikai Studios because they have some awesome stickers. All those stickers are like really, really nice quality and they came out just absolutely beautifully. Then I got another Funko. <laughs> We only have a few more Funkos, guys, I promise. But this Funko I bought off of Macari because it was five bucks. Need I say more? As you know, I am trying to get Funkos for an entire princess lineup like the entire official Disney princesses line. And so even if it's not a Funko that I'm gonna like buy a bunch of different Funkos from that movie or anything, I want at least the princess. But I saw her and I was like, well, I'm getting her. I understand why she's five bucks now because there's a little bit of some marks on her, but I don't really care. But it is Jasmine here. So this is the exact Jasmine Funko that I wanted as well. And I didn't really see her many places a lot. I kept seeing her for like 11, $12, which is a pretty normal standard price for a Funko but because I'm trying not to spend a ton on Funkos and everything and because I could keep seeing her everywhere and she is not hard to find like this I didn't see the point of buying her at full price so the fact that I saw her for really cheap I was like that's fine so she just has like a little bit right here and then a little bit on her little like translucent cape thing here but like even on the camera I don't think you can even see it that much so I do love Aladdin and I do enjoy Jasmine I'm just not a huge collector of the movie. I don't have any like super big ties to it. I just enjoy watching it as a movie. I'm just not a collector, but I still needed her in my Funko Princess lineup. So we only have two left to go in our Funko Princess lineup. So we just have to get Aurora and Mulan. And I know exactly which ones I want from those. I'll probably get Mulan before Aurora because Aurora's is a little bit pricey. So this is something that was bought from Walt Disney World, but it was given to me as like a gift. And it is absolutely 
beautiful. It is another ornament, but I'm actually not using it as an ornament currently. It's being used as just decoration on my little up shelf. So it is the up house. Super duper cute, but it's more than just the up house, guys. If you see the roof has like snow on it, it's the up house at Christmas time. You can see the little like Christmas lights they have up everywhere. There's a wreath on the front door. Look at all the little Christmas lights. It is so cute. It's so cute. There's even like a little bit of snow on the first step of the porch. It's so cute. Last thing that I got was another pre-order Funko Pop. So this is one that I pre-ordered and it wasn't supposed to get here until like May and it actually got here on like one of the last days of April which is great because of what this pop actually is for. It is an Earth Day pop from Walmart. So I actually bought this when I got Vanellope and I got Raya and it is beautiful. I have been looking for this pop for so long and then they came out with this exclusive and it's not the same as that pop because it's flocked now which I love. Of. This I think is actually better and also when watching this movie with my best friend We both were like she just looks so soft and so fuzzy So I'm so glad that she's flocked before I show her to you I love that it's an Earth Day Funko because Earth Day fan of Earth Day because I think we should all pretend like it's Earth Day every day and Respect the earth in that way, but it's also it's Animal Kingdom's birthday And I love Animal Kingdom so very very much But also Earth Day is going to mean a lot more to me this next Earth Day because that is actually when Michael and I are getting married is on Earth Day and then it will be our wedding anniversary is Earth Day. Earth Day means a lot to me and I can't wait to get an Earth Day pin next year because it will be the year that we are married and it's actually on that day so that's gonna be so fun. The pop I got is Tefiti. It's a perfect Earth Day pop. Look at her. Goddess of the earth basically. She's absolutely beautiful and I love the the like recycled cardboard look of this Funko Pop box. It even says on the back, going green, the packaging is 70% recycled material. So I absolutely love that they, they went all into this. She's so fuzzy. I love her so much. Little headpiece here. So everything but her hands and her face is flocked and just so fuzzy. Look at just how gorgeous she is. And she wasn't too bad for an exclusive flocked Funko that's only at a certain store. It's a Walmart exclusive. Walmart has exclusives now. That is everything that I got for the month of April besides the things that I got at Disney World, which you will see that coming out in a future video. So stay tuned for that. Might as well hit that little subscribe button down there below. And you might as well hit the little bell notification icon so then you're notified whenever I do upload that video and any other videos that I upload, which are Gonna be super fun and cool. So let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite item from this little April haul. And honestly, it might be the Tafiti Funko because she's just absolutely gorgeous and everything that I've wanted. I absolutely love her. So let me know what was your favorite item that I got in the haul this month. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, farewell. Bye.